Peter and Paul were sitting on the last bench of a classroom. Peter had problems in seeing the things written and drawn on the board. Everything seemed hazy and unclear to him. So he asked his friend Paul if he saw the same thing. But Paul said that he could see everything clearly. So Peter asked for permission to sit on the front bench. And from there he could see everything written and drawn on the board clearly. So he went to the doctor. He told the doctor that near objects seem prominent. But far objects seem hazy and unclear. The doctor told him that he was suffering from a condition known as nearsightedness or myopia. Just like a camera has a lens which focuses an image on the photographic film, similarly, in our human eye, there is also a lens which focuses the image of an object on the retina. So in normal condition, the lens focuses the image on the retina. But let us see what is happening in case of Peter's eye. See, the image of the blackboard is falling before the retina, not on the retina. The doctor told him that focusing of an image depends on the thickness of a lens. So let us see the difference between the thickness of the lens of Peter and Paul. Notice that. Peter had a problem seeing far objects like the blackboard. Things written on the blackboard seemed unclear and hazy to him. Now see, his lens is very curved and his eyeball is lengthened. Now in case of Paul, who had a normal vision when it came to far objects like the blackboard, look at his eye. His lens is relaxed and also his eyeball is of a normal size. Now, there are muscles known as ciliary muscles which help to keep the lens in the proper position. Now, all muscles have the property of contraction and relaxation. The ciliary muscles help stretch the lens, see, and this is done by contraction. By contracting, it facilitates the vision of far off objects by formation of the image of the far off object on the retina. But in case of myopia, what happens is these ciliary muscles get loosened, so they are not able to contract properly, and so the lens does not get flattened, and hence the image of the far off object does not fall on the retina, but it falls before the retina and hence the vision is blurry. So the doctor prescribed a spectacle for Peter. And after wearing the specs, he could see the board properly. Now the spectacle had concave lens. Now, what does a concave lens do? Well, concave lens helps to focus far objects on the retina, not before the retina. And the power of such a glass that contains concave lens is minus. Now, another condition arises in uh, people after 40 years when near objects seem hazy and blurry like this. 
this condition when far objects are clear but near objects are hazy and blurry is known as far sightedness or hypermetropia in this case the lens become flattened and also the eyeball becomes shortened as a result of which the image does not get focused on the retina but it gets focused behind the retina so this can be corrected by convex lens so what does a convex lens do the convex lens helps in focusing image of a near object on the retina the spectacles that contain convex lens has a power plus now all the symptoms of hypermetropia is also seen in press biopia which occurs in old people your press pis means old and ops means i in press biopia like hypermetropia vision of far off objects are prominent but near vision is blurry press biopia is caused by flattening or loosening of the eye lens and can be corrected by convex lens like in the case of hypermetropia but one difference between press biopia and hypermetropia is that in hypermetropia the eye defect is caused by both flattening and loosening of the eye lens as well as due to shortening of the eyeball